So this is unlike any other farm that I know of in North America. Most of it's Atlantic. There's just one company, as far as I know, that's doing the Chinook. Um, the Chinook just didn't do as well in pens, and so the Norwegians wanted to bring their livestock over. It would be like, you know, a farmer from Scotland bringing his prize cattle over to, to farm in North America. But the difference is these farms are in nets in the water, and all of the waste <laughs> goes out. So this is unlike any other farm that I know of in North America. These guys never shovel their manure. And it's tons per day. They put tons of feed into these fish per day. And of course, what goes in comes out. And they're relying on the currents of this coast to move these this, this waste. But what happens to it is it does different things. The heavy stuff settles close to the farm. But the viruses and the bacteria and the sea lice, these are actually designed to spread. And so they stay up near the surface and, and spread, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 kilometers from each farm. And um, so it's become a real gauntlet for the, for the young wild salmon leaving the rivers on their way to sea. They, the way fish breathe you know of course as they open their mouths they take water in and it goes over their gills and so anything coming out of these farms is coming into direct contact with the bloodstream of these wild fish as they pass on their way to sea <laughs>